I am very sure that not one single person watching me right now does not know about the coronavirus aka COVID-19 and the pandemonium it's causing all around the world. Now, from an unbelievable perspective, I totally understand the panic and the drastic measures taken. But for the government to tell the church to not worship anymore because of fear of contracting and spreading the virus goes to show how ineffective the body of Christ has become and I blame our leaders for it. Welcome to Shut Up J with your boy J Snow. Don't touch that down and I'll catch you right after this. All right, my people, welcome back from that one. It's Shut Up Jay with your boy Jay. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy what you hear today on the show. Now, one of the major impacts of this virus outbreak is a shutdown of every and any major gatherings, including churches, mosques, you know, events, and a whole lot of other stuff. And this has led to lots of Christians, including myself and even the president of Tanzania, condemning the act. For those in favor of this very lockdown and, you know, church closure and everything, they quote scriptures from uh, Romans 13 verse 1 which says let every soul be subjected to a higher authority for there is no power but God. Some also quote 1 Peter 2 verse 13 which says submit yourself for the Lord's sake to any human institution whether to a king as the one in authority. There is nothing absolutely nothing wrong with you submitting yourself to a higher authority and we are not telling you to do otherwise but what I'm saying is this for a government to say to the church of Christ to close down and not to gather anymore to worship because we fear your congregation will spread the virus if you're gathered to worship God for me it's an unfortunate statement and one that shouldn't have been said at all let's say Jesus Christ was alive today and he and his disciples were going about doing good getting the sick raising the dead and then corona strikes what do you think the government will do as of now I certainly think that the government will not tell Jesus Christ and his disciples to stop worshiping instead they will rather take the sick to them and you know what's gonna happen they will be healed we claim we are the body of Christ. Now in Mark 16, 15 downwards are the last instructions of Jesus Christ before he left earth. The first two verses I've seen countless Christians quoted and some use it as a foundation for their ministry. It says, and this is Jesus Christ talking to his disciples, go ye out there into the world and preach the gospel to all creature and that whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe is condemned. This is known as the great commission. But for some strange reason, we don't go further into the last two verses in the same chapter. In verse 17 and 18, Jesus Christ continues to instruct his disciples and this is what he says, and these signs will follow them that believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Now unless you're telling that Jesus Christ was drunk or he was lying, I would have to assume that these words are true to them that believe. We live in an era where we have more Christians in the world than ever before. But it's sad to say that not many of us, including myself, can show signs of this truth in our lives. So what exactly is wrong and why aren't these signs following us even though we claim we believe? Are we believing the wrong things? Don't we have enough faith? Are we being taught the right stuff in the first place? In Ephesians 4 verse 11 to 16, we read that Jesus Christ gave some to be apostles, some to be evangelists some to be pastors, some to be prophets, some to be teachers, to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. It is the duty of our church leaders to guide us, to teach us, and to equip us. If the students are failing in their exams, the teacher needs to be checked. I strongly feel our leaders have missed it and they are only teaching us stuff that we want to hear, not stuff that will build us up. It's sad to see Christians scattering left and right because of a virus and I am by no means downplaying the severity of this virus and my heart goes out to those who've lost loved ones but I'm saying that Christians ought to be laying hands on the sick and healing them rather than hiding and cowering in fear. Christianity is not about prosperity, it's not about killing witches, it's not about giving the biggest offerings and tithe, it's not about singing the best worship song. These are not the signs that will follow a believer. A believer will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. A believer will grab serpents and nothing will happen to them. 
A believer will speak in new tongues. A believer does not fall sick. And a believer is not afraid to die. These are the signs that follow a true believer. We need to learn and be taught how the truth in these verses can be made manifested in our lives. Prophecies and prosperity preaching, they are okay, but it's only faith building, preaching, and teaching that will help us in these last days. All right, so it's your boy, Jay Smoke. I hope you guys learned a thing or two from today's edition of Shut Up Jay. If you have any comments, leave them down here below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tell a friend about this show. You know what time is, man? Child, it's your boy, Jay Smoke. I'll let you boy.